In this video, I'd like to show you how to make your MacBook speak text to you. And there are plenty of options how you can go about it, but the most basic one and the first thing that you can do is to simply highlight the text. Let's say you are browsing a website in a Safari. And if you just highlight a piece of text like this and then you right click on it, then you can see the speech option. And if you click on a start speaking, simply the selected text is going to be spoken to you. And this is the most basic option. And the first thing you don't even have to set it up. It's just there by default. But there is really a lot more to this. And all of the stuff can be customized in the settings. So click on the Apple logo in the upper left corner and go to system preferences. And there, make sure to click on accessibility. This is the icon of a person with the blue background in a circle. So click on it and there should be spoken content. And if you click on there, you have multiple options and multiple things to customize. The first is the system voice. If you click on it, as you can see, it's Alex. For me, it's the English and the United States. So you can choose from different options. It shows you those that are currently downloaded and available to be used, but you can also customize it and see which languages are available. So if you just scroll down here, you can see there is plenty of them and most of them do even have multiple options. So it means that you can even choose different uh, types of voices and people to use it. And while it's fun to play around with the voices, make sure to not download all of them because you really don't need them. And all of the content is just going to take up your storage and you definitely don't want that as well. Then you can also customize and change the speaking rate and make sure it is faster or slower, but you can always just click on the play button to see how fast it is and just customize it according to your will. And there is the volume as well. It's not the system volume for every single thing. It's only for the speaking of the text and spoken content. So it's a separate slider. And here are the other things like speak announcements, which is first. And next to each of these options is a checkbox. So only if it's checked, then it's going to be activated and you can only then consider it to be working. Anyways, the speak announcements means that it just reads your notifications to you, whether it's from the Finder app or some system apps or even a message or an email that you receive, then it's just going to be read out out to you. And if you click on more options, you can choose the delay, which pretty much means that after which time the after the notification, the text is going to be read to you. You can use different voice and a different phrase as well. You can, for example, choose to every notification to be announced with the phrase attention or excuse me or something else. So that's an also nice thing to customize. And also with that comes the uh, the possibility to change and adjust the voice according to those that are available on your device. The next option, which is probably the most important one, is the speak selection. Again, it has to be enabled and it, the check has to be there for it to work. But uh, this means that and if you click on more options, you can see that it has to be a keyboard shortcut. By default, it's option escape. And that means that whenever you trigger the shortcut, the text on the screen is going to be read to you. And if there is nothing selected, let's say you browse a website or looking through your emails and you don't have any text literally highlighted or selected. And if you use this shortcut, which is option escape in our case, then the entire readable text is going to be spoken to you and the entire thing on the screen. And in cases when there is no speakable content on the screen, then you're going to hear like a beep and that just going to make you know that there is nothing to read pretty much. It's the same gesture when you, for example, have on the iPhone, when you swipe down with your two fingers from the top of the screen is the same thing, but on the Mac. But besides that, we have highlight content. So whenever the text is being read to you, you can make sure that the words are highlighted, but not only words, also sentences and words and sentences. Then you can choose the color for the words, for sentences and the style, whether you want to have the background color or just underlined and the controller as well. And the controller is the thing that pops up whenever you are hearing a text being spoken from a MacBook. 
and the controller allows you to dec decrease the speaking rate to stop, pause speaking, to go to the previous sentence, previous word, or to increase the speaking rate. It looks like this, and I would advise you to have it there because it just allows you to quickly control it and have it like a little bit more <laughs> control over it pretty much. Speak items under the pointer and this is something which may be useful but also very annoying. So this means that whenever you put your cursor that phrase or the text available there is going to be spoken to you which may be useful like I said but in a lot of cases it could be annoying. So the option which is recommended is to only have it when it's zoomed and not always. If you are now wondering how the zoom can be enabled on the Mac, well, generally the shortcut is Option Command 8, and you have to have that enabled at first, but you are already in the accessibility section in the settings. So right above the spoken content, there is the zoom, so you can customize it and enable it there. And the last option is to speak typing feedback. And this means that whenever you're typing using your keyboard, you can choose that after each word that you type that the word is going to be read to you. And it can be useful, I guess, but um, I don't have that enabled. And it's not really for regular or most people, I would say. But you have also a couple of options to customize it. So you can choose to just repeat or echo, as it says, characters or entire words or even selection changes or modifier keys. So that would be pretty much it. I really do hope that you found some value in the video. I also hope that you enjoyed it because I tried to make it as to the point as possible, you can say it that way. So leave a comment saying whatever you want, leave a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks a lot for watching, see you guys later.